All right, hey, nice to see you. Burger King review. I um, already filmed earlier today while we are out and about. I filmed the um, ghost pepper chicken fries. And in this bag, we have the ghost pepper Whopper. Um, let's do it. So check it out. Ghost pepper Whopper with cheese. Brand new from the folks over at Burger King. We're going to check it out. Here we go. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. What are we going on? What are we going on? What is going on over at Burger King? Bringing back the uh, ghost pepper Whopper with cheese. Got the nice uh, wrapper right here just in time for, whoa, <laughs> I forgot about this bun. <laughs> Look at this bun. Oh my goodness. Look at this bun. What is happening, Burger King? I'm going to read what's going on here so we will kind of get reacquainted with this ghost pepper whopper. But there's the bacon right there, so it does have bacon. And that is the spooky bun. All right, let's take a bite. All right, so I just took the thumbnail and I forgot about the orange bun. So Here's what we got going on with the Ghost Pepper Whopper. Burger King's Ghost Pepper Whopper features one quarter pound flame grilled uh, beef patty, crispy bacon, crispy jalapenos, melty ghost pepper cheese, and queso sauce, all on a toasted orange and black bun. Ghost Pepper Whopper orange and black bun available while supplies last. But today's the day that they launched it, um, October 12th, and um, I could have made a call, I didn't want to. I could have got it a little early. I didn't want to. Let's just let's just get it when the people get it. And uh, I paid my hard-earned money for it, so we are going to check it out. One more look. Is it scary? Is it scary enough for you? Yeah, that's what's going on. All right, wish me luck, Ghost Pepper Whopper. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Burger King. If you missed the uh, chicken fries, those had some heat. <coughs> this is up there. Check it out. Look at that. Yeah, so those aren't pickled jalapenos. There's no way. They didn't say it. It's crispy jalapenos. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, they're the crispy ones. I forgot about these. Check it out. Yep, there you go. So bacon, and look at this ghost pepper cheese. That's as orange as the bun. It's as orange as the bun. What is happening? I, I don't know if I endorse this. I mean, it is spicy. It is bringing a heat that you would probably or hopefully want to get out of uh, ghost pepper. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think this is me. I don't think the colors for me. I don't know what this is gonna do a couple hours later. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know how this is going to, if this is gonna come out any better than it goes in, I'm a little nervous. But should I take another bite? I, I could take another bite. I could just show it to you and tell you about it. A little public service announcement. Look at this. That is a specialty Whopper just in time for Halloween. I'll take another bite because I love you guys. I do it for you, but this is hot probably on any type of heat meter like one to ten and it's tingling I'm giving a little tingle and it's still kind of staying there three and a half four maybe four and a half to five if you keep eating it and taking bites and eat it like uh, you should be eating a burger not like me taking a bite and talking for five minutes until I hope I hope the uh, pain goes away but I'll take another bite it's decent I think it does deliver on the spice if you are someone who wants to uh, get that spice and it's pretty cool to look at uh, for the Halloween season with the orange final bite yeah all right so one other thing this whopper whoa <laughs> this is spicy this Whopper is definitely dry. 
definitely a dry whopper. I'm not gonna hold them uh, against that too much. We're here for the actual uh, fanfare. We're here for the, uh, I don't know, specialty burger. So I like this, but again, the orange is throwing me off. The spice is a little too much for me. I'm a guy that likes a little spice, and then, you know, I don't want it to burn my face off, so. Let's give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Ghost Pepper Whopper from Burger King a rating of... Eighty-five. I think I might have given the uh, chicken fries an eighty-five. I don't love it. It was this one in particular was dry, and um, but maybe it's a little low in score because the uh, spice is real. Huh. I'm torn. It's not for me. It might be for you, especially a lot of people out there that love Halloween, love the uh, time of the year, and um, I don't know. That's the thing. My buddy Nick. Let me tell you, he loves Halloween. He loves it. He loves it. He actually worked some haunted hayride back in the day, and then he like loaded up his garage with like all of the uh, equipment. I think he just took it. There were masks. There was uh, who knows. I think he even took the hay. He, he, he loves uh, Halloween. Shout out Nick. So um, all right, there you go. Um, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media. Getting the word of my channel out to the masses. I guess it's not Twitter anymore. It's X. You know, you know the whole deal. So there it is. Ghost Pepper Whopper. I don't know. You might be seeing this one first and then seeing the um, chicken fries. I don't know which order I'm going to put them in. So if you've already seen the chicken fries, I mean, you've already seen the chicken fries. Like, I don't want to tell you. But if you haven't seen the chicken fries and this is the first one, go check my Burger King playlist. Then you're going to see the chicken fries after this. But there you go. Ghost Pepper Whopper. I thank you all for joining me. Shout out to my members. Shout out to all the uh, subscribers. I uh, love each and every one of you. And uh, also, one more thing. Light up the comments if you enjoy Halloween and uh, if you decorate your houses. And uh, do you remember back in the day when Halloween candy, uh, the rumor was they were putting razor blades into the uh, candy? I don't know. I don't know if that's just a, um, a rumor or if it actually did happen in the 70s or 80s. So there you go. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews.